Hello, Pisces, and welcome to Josie K Tarot. I'm Josie K, and this is your spiritual advice reading for the final week of January of 2021, the week of January 25th through to the 31st. I'm going to lay a three card spread. First position representing career and finance, second position representing love and romance, and the third position, uh, spirit offering specific spiritual advice. So the spiritual advice position is the third position. Now for the first position, representing career and finance, I'm going to pull a card from the Psychic Tarot Oracle deck by John Holland. So dear Lord, spirit guides and angels, please bless whichever Pisces I'm reading for, sun, moon, or rising, male or female, Venus, Saturn, Pluto, Jupiter, and so on. Bless this Pisces with a clearly defined message regarding career and finance during the week of January 25th of 2020. Now for the love and romance position, I'm going to pull a card from the Wisdom of the House of Night deck by PC Cast and Colette Baron reed So dear Lord, spirit, guides, and angels, please bless whichever Pisces I'm reading for with a clearly defined message, message regarding love and romance for the final week of January of 2021. All right. And for the spiritual advice card, I'm going to pull from the Guardian Angel deck by Doreen Virtue. Okay. I'm hearing confusion. Confusion. So, dear Lord, spirit, guides, and angels, please bless whichever Pisces I'm reading for with clearly defined spiritual advice representing the final week of January of 2021. All right. So career and finance. All right, with the truth card. Uh, we have a Pisces here this week, during the week of January 25th, who is recognizing a new path, a new direction, who is in the moment of comparing uh, one situation to another, um, finding as this Pisces tries different things in the area of career and finance, uh, what it is that brings them the greatest balance, uh, the greatest contentment. <clears throat> this would be an ideal time, Pisces, for you to get back in touch with your inner child, uh, to practice some things that you like to do as a child that you've always wanted to learn about or do, to think about what it is that would balance you out daily that you would really enjoy um, creating a profit from. So there's a search of discovery taking place here regarding what is it that balances me out? Uh, what is it that brings me joy and happiness? What is my truth, uh, my soul's purpose? In the love and romance position, ah, we have fulfillment. So if you notice, we have two cards here with the number 20. So again, Contemplating a new path, a new direction, and planning some form of fulfillment in the relationship sector. If you are in a relationship, uh, it looks as though you and another are planning something that is going to balance the relationship very well together. Whether it's a new creative direction, a new home, a new business idea, creating something, a business together, the two of you, uh, now is a time to manifest a new path of fulfillment. Now, I am feeling as though uh, for if, okay, so if you're in a partnership, there's great energies of fulfillment during the week of January 25th, period. If you are single, I think as you work towards something that truly grounds you, that you enjoy as you take a class, as you connect with new people this week, uh, there is going to be uh, as you discover what fulfills you personally, uh, there's going to be a bright, beautiful aura surrounding you emotionally and spiritually, and that is going to draw someone to recognize you, right? So we need to figure out what it is that brings us to a balanced energy where we are 
in the state of peace, joy, and happiness. For once we get to that point and we do something daily that we truly enjoy or learn, uh, that's when we give off a bright, beautiful aura. That's a beacon to spirit to send someone to you, Pisces, someone who sees uh, your fulfillment, someone who wants to be a part of what you are creating here. Wow. So we've I've seen this a lot lately. Again, I saw it back in November, I believe, of 2020. And now I've seen it showing up in a lot of personal readings. The eight of action is communication coming in rather quickly and unexpectedly. Action representing wands. Uh, the wand energy is about sometimes career and finance, sometimes home and family. Um, but most importantly, it's communication that helps for you to move into the direction of enthusiasm. Okay, so the card says that during this week, there's going to be a lot going on. And it may even feel a bit overwhelming to you, Pisces. And yet, it is so wonderful to be busy with the work that you love, right? Recognizing this is what I was meant to do. This is the work that I love. This is what I want to do day to day that will bring me great balance, happiness, and joy. Express gratitude for the blessings of heaven that are taking up your time, even when life feels a little bit challenging. Maybe something happens this week uh, and it comes in very quickly and unexpectedly and it makes you feel a little bit challenged. But Spirit's saying it is indeed time for a new direction and the planning of a new direction and how it will fulfill you um, day to day and for the long term. Remember, when we find this path of fulfillment, uh, we are to always give thanks to Spirit for the blessings that we have found what it is uh, that makes us feel content, stable, and secure. If you're being asked to travel, then do so with confidence. And I know that this is a time of COVID, but believe it or not, people are traveling. You know, we have Giada and Bobby Flay who went to Italy. Um, I don't know if that was happening during the COVID process and situation, but um, this is about, I think, two people moving into a direction of creating peace, joy, and happiness. And this is a process where spirit's saying, just enjoy the journey. Enjoy what is transpiring. Um, there may be fear on your behalf or another during this week of do we see things from the same perspective? Uh, but when the aid of action shows up, I feel as though this is something that is a bit of a gift from the universe. The ability to take action and to move excitedly into a direction of peace, joy, and happiness. So Spirit is saying it's a week to have patience because sometimes dreams grow slowly, right? It's not about getting to where you want to be, but it's about the journey of manifesting that. That is the path of fulfillment. The hard work, Pisces, that you have invested is about to bring a beautiful harvest. So for some of you, you've been working on something that you really enjoy. And uh, as you continue to use your imagination with the number zero here, uh, you are going to start to see signs of great fulfillment. Uh, you're going to see signs this week that your hard work has brought to you now an opportunity to create a beautiful harvest in your life. So continue to do what you're doing if you know what this is, or it is going to grow uh, when the time is right. A doorway is opening for you. Uh, in the meantime, during this week, Pisces, it's a great time to prepare because eventually things will move forward quickly. Maybe by the very last couple of days of January. So use this time to rest and plan with that number zero. A new path is opening up. And when it does, you're going to find that things are moving very quickly. There may be a need to travel into one direction or another. But there are opportunities opening up, Pisces, related to your creativity, 
your career or just the pursuing of your dreams. This is a time of action. So if you've been procrastinating, it's time to continue to maintain uh, the, uh, uh, your efforts day to day. Definitely a good time to start a new business, something that really balances you out, that makes you find peace, joy, and enthusiasm. Remember, during this week, to have confidence in your abilities. So should these messages resonate and you would like further information, feel free to write me for a personal reading at my email, which is josiek42 at gmail.com. I offer four one-half-hour readings, and they are a one-month, three-month, six-month, and yearly reading. And my price list will be in the box below this video. I am still offering the winter special which is a 15-minute video reading for just $25 if you'd like to give it a try. So thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you so very much to those of you whom have liked, shared, and subscribed. Thank you so very, very much to those of you whom have donated to keep the channel up and running. Take care and God bless.